I've always had the dream, like even with one hand, I've wanted to go to the National Hockey League. Like that's been my dream. I want to go to the NHL. I want to be the first amputee in the NHL, and that still is my dream. That still is my goal. As long as I've known Josh, it's been all about hockey. He's had um, other prostheses. He's had uh, like a myoelectric uh, prosthesis, one that you actually use your muscles to operate the hand open and close. Uh, and he would use that for school and whatnot. But uh, he probably wore his hockey device almost more because he was always, you know, as soon as he came home from school, like he'd be playing hockey. So I was born that way. It was uh, amniotic banding. Um, I lost my hand uh, when I came out of the womb. Um, and I've been five finger, one hand since birth. So initially it did hold me back um, when I was younger, up until about the age of five. I come from a hockey family, my dad played hockey, um, and it was, it was pretty tough for me to watch like my brother go on the ice, and I was like, oh, well, like, how, how can I do that? Like, I want to go on the ice, like, how can I do that? And initially I actually said, like, I want to be a referee. Since I can't hold a hockey stick, that'll be a referee in the, in the NHL. The device that he'd had since uh, being a young child uh, was commercially available and there were different stiffnesses so that as you grew there were two different stiffnesses and what was happening was uh, Josh was breaking them and it was more or less a, a flexible plastic that would go over top of the end of his hockey stick. And then there'd be a ball attachment like a, like a little plastic ball um, that would go into the top of my stick but the thing was you gotta you gotta cross check somebody or go to hit somebody or you even go to take a slap shot or something and you pull too hard the ball just pop right out the evolution of what it is now, it does not come out of the stick or the prosthetic unless I click a button on the wrist of my prosthetic. Everything we do is custom because everybody is very, very different, uh, not only from the type of amputation they have and how they've healed, uh, but also their goals, what their you know, purpose is for having a prosthesis. It's always just been about um, keeping him on the ice. We knew what we wanted to do and one of our prosthetic technicians, uh, Joel Flett uh, and I, we were having conversations about what was happening and we needed the help of biomedical engineering. So George, um, George Boyce from biomedical engineering kind of joined in and truly um, it wasn't just Joel and I, these conversations go through our whole shop. So the actual device itself is a culmination of our whole department. Karen and Joel have been awesome. Like Karen, Karen really took the prosthetic to a whole new, new level. Um, she totally evolved what it what it is today and has continued to evolve. And the joy of it is probably a mixture of several things. Um, being able to creatively, you know, make something like this is uh, satisfying. Um, but I think at the end of the day, it's also knowing that you've made someone else's life better than, you know, it was before, right? And that you made a difference. I was cut from the same team uh, four times in a row. Uh, last cut because of the same thing. Like the coach didn't want to deal with having a player with one hand. So that was, that was tough growing up. Um, it's like it's emotional, but it just gives me more drive. Um, and look where I am today. And now I'm playing junior hockey in the United States of America. It's that's super important to me. It's my family. It's it's kind of in my DNA.